Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. I am back in the country, back in Australia, and what better way to be welcomed back to Australia than by participating in the sacred and mandatory act of choosing the next leader of our country. That's right, I am at my local polling booth, ready to vote in the federal election. And while I'm here, I'm going to check out the food that is on offer. If you're not familiar with how democracy works in Australia, there are some special points to be familiar with. So, um, for overseas viewers, you might find this interesting. First of all, in Australia, voting is mandatory. We have to vote. You can get out of it in different ways, but anyway, most people vote in Australia, because otherwise you do get fined. Secondly, voting is held on a Saturday, so it makes it a lot easier to get out and vote. There are polling places everywhere. A lot of polling places are actually schools because of course they are closed on Saturdays. As a result of schools being election places, the schools often will sell sausages and cakes and whatnot as a fundraiser while the election is happening, while all of these uh, people are coming to vote, coming to their school to vote. So it's become a bit of a thing in recent years to talk about the democracy sausage. It's a it's a little bit normy, all right? I will admit it is a bit normy, but uh, anyway, I, I am actually hungry. I, I haven't had a sausage and bread for quite a few weeks now. I've been overseas, so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. And now, sadly, not every polling place has the sausage sizzle happening, but you can find out where your nearest sausage sizzle place is by looking at democracysausage.org and finding out on a map. Sadly, where I live in Logan, there's actually not that many places doing these uh, these sausage sizzles. So apparently this place is doing it though. So I'm gonna get out of the car, I'm gonna vote, and I'm going to hopefully have a sausage. Let's go. back from voting what an experience it was uh, it was very quick uh, so that was great also um, I have to say they used this uh, laminated sort of piece of plastic on top of the cardboard that they normally use and it made writing in pencil on the sheets much smoother it was uh, it was great anyway I did pick up some goodies while I was there from the local PNF some lovely ladies working there I did of course pick up a sausage and bread. A democracy sausage. I'm just going to get stuck into it. I do have some other sweets here, but they can wait. I just want to eat this straight away. It has been a while. It has been a good spell. Let's get stuck into it. Um. <coughs> wow. That is amazing. This is what democracy tastes like. I gotta say, I gotta say. Well, actually, I'll run you through it. So, I got, a, I got a fairly simple. My, my, um, my sausage sizzle order is fairly simple. It's just um, bread, sausage. Obviously, that's a given. That's like part of it. Uh, and then I just get tomato sauce. I just get tomato sauce. I don't put mustard on it. I don't put mustard on sausages. That is a little, well, sorry. I don't put mustard on like the Australian gray barbecue sausages. That's just weird to me. I put it on hot dogs, like proper Frankfurts and stuff, but not on uh, not on this type of sausage. No thanks. Um, the bread here, um, of course, it is a cheap kind of white bread, but um, I don't know. It, this bread is not the best I've had. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but um, yeah. Yeah, there really is nothing like a democracy sausage. Well, the bunning snag is remarkably similar, but um, yeah, it just it just hits different when you're when you're voting uh, to have a sausage at the same time. Um, I might put that to the side for now and just run you through my sweets. I did get some sweeties. This this particular place, not only did it have cakes, which is not super common, it did also have plants for sale. It had some plants. So you can, you know, vote, take part in the greatest democracy on earth, 
and then also buy a pot plant if you want to. Um, anyway, they had a whole tray, uh, sorry, a whole like selection of treats. Um, I got myself a brownie, a brownie, homemade, yum. Uh, look at this. Oh, what's this? Oh, well. uh, some sort of like sugar biscuit thing. That also looks quite good. Sorry, I'll give you a better look at the brownie there. Well, it's in glad wrap, you can't really see it. And then I also got this uh, pumpkin fruit cake. Pumpkin fruit cake, I've never had one before. Let's just try it now. Let's just try it now. Um, so, it's got pumpkin and fruit in it. Uh, also sugar, eggs. It's got the whole thing there. Got the whole, uh, got the whole ingredients list. You can pause that, read that if you want to. I'm not that curious. Let's give it a go. Oh, the giant sultana in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So when they say pumpkin fruit cake, the fruit it just means sultana. So if you like sultana, then you're in luck. I'm not a big fan, so I'll put that to the side. Next one is this uh, sugar cookie. Whoa. Let's have a go. Looks nice. It looks very pretty. Mmm. Soft, bicky. There's icing sugar on top. That's tasty. Yum. You got some sauce on that. Lastly, it's not a particularly Australian treat, but I do love a good brownie. Let's uh, let's crack this open. Uh, I didn't get one of the. Oh no, did I get an edge piece? Oh yes, excellent. Good job. They um, yeah, I think I think they split the uh, the pan down the middle. Whoa, jeez, oh, that's gone. Uh, so everyone, everyone has an edge piece. Let's just get stuck into it. Mmm. Mmm. That is a lovely brownie. Oh, that's actually really good. Whoever's made this, you did a good job. Good job. Really good balance of uh, ooh, of cocoa and sugar. Do they put cocoa in a brownie? I'm not sure. I guess they do. They probably do. But it's got like a... Like, it's not overly sweet. It's not overly sweet. Restrained. Yum. I'm going to get a coffee and enjoy that properly. That was one thing this place didn't have. Uh, they didn't have a coffee van or a coffee sort of outlet. That is that is like the rarest of the three, I would say, in the hierarchy of um, what you will find at an election booth is a sausage sizzle first, sweets second, like a cake stall second, and then a coffee booth. The plant thing, that was completely unexpected. I, this is probably the only place in Australia where you can buy plants and vote at the same time. Um, so, anyway, that's uh, that's all done. That's good. I've, I've fulfilled my democratic obligation, my, my government-enforced like, democratic obligation or whatever. Um, a lot of people complain about voting, but... Uh, you know, I'd, I'd prefer mandatory voting than, than not being able to vote at all. So, you know, well done. As I said in the intro, Democracy Sausages may be a bit normy. People do talk about it a fair bit. In fact, I did see a BBC documentary, sorry, a BBC piece on Democracy Sausages the other day. And the way the guy ate the sausage, have a look at this. That's just an incredible... Uh, like, first of all, the setup is odd. That's a weird-looking sausage and bread. And then how he eats it is is insane. I've never seen anyone eat sausage and bread like that. That's that's bizarre. Um, anyway, it's it's easy to to you know kind of say democracy sausages. It's it's a bit it's a bit cringe. It's a bit uh, bit normy. But you know it is emblematic of Australian democracy. And like I said, I've just come down here on a Saturday morning. Very quickly, I've spent way more time talking to you guys than I have actually voting. I was in and out quick as possible. It's uh, it's not bad. It's not perfect, but um, it's uh, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good by global standards. 
So anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. I will uh, I will finish off my sausage in bread because I would hate my $2 to go to waste. So I will catch you all later. Happy voting. Um, well done to whoever wins the election. Good good job. Um, and, you know, everyone in the House of Reps and the Senate and whatnot. I hope your person got in. If they didn't, well, you know, they tried their best. What else can you do? Have a great day. Cheers. Authorised by Foodsack, Canberra.